so yeah hi guys and welcome back to the channel and my name is abhijit and in this particular video we are going to start a series on um, jango mongo db and uh, if you don't know like what's a mongo db let me explain you in a very like a specific manner mongo db is a kind of a database and it's a kind of a no sql database already we have we know like we have uh, some databases called mysql mysql postgres sql lite and all these kind of database are you can say uh, sql database and what's the difference between sql and no sql in sql database it follows rdbms means that you can see all the tables and you can uh, the data which they store in a kind of a table view and no sql stores the data in a kind of a json format uh like if you are familiar with django rest framework maybe you have you know like what's a json and uh, what json looks like it 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 has a like key value pair and it has you can append all the objects and uh, arrays to in it so it's very quite popular database in terms of uh, development and a lot of big companies uses mongo db to scale their application or to back their application it's kind of a very famous database in no sql world and uh, no one is like way behind to no sql mongo db is quite famous and you need to know uh, mongo db and uh, let's start the video and before starting the video if you haven't subscribed the channel please do subscribe the channel because i have already a lot of django content and if you want to become a complete python developer you don't need to go any other channel you can subscribe this channel so let's start and again uh, we have one more very interesting thing so if you want to become a full stack developer in just 6 month and with a minimum guaranteed placement of 5 lakh lpa newton school is just for you and what's newton school newton school is an e learning platform where you can learn a lot of technologies majorly back end technologies and what they provide is they don't charge you any amount until you get placed and the minimum placement they offer is 5 lakh lpa and uh, you can see a lot of big companies hire newton school students like google flipkart zomato xiaomi razer pay and all these companies are top rated based companies in india and they pay very well and the minimum guaranteed placement they have written like 5 lpa to 40 lpa 5 lpa is the minimum placement and you can go above beyond 5 lpa to 40 lpa and uh, they give complete back end development training front end development training you can say it's a complete full stack course and uh, uh the time span is like something around 6 month and um, you get a job above 5 lpa then you have to pay fees okay and if you want to become a full stack developer and the minimum ctc with a minimum ctc you can do check the newton school course and the link is in the description section and uh, let's uh, start the video so what i have done till now is we have uh, created some kind of a uh, mongo db cluster on the mongo db like uh, website you can go to cloud.mongodb.com and create your cluster it's kind of very easy it just ask for a free tier you can check all those things and you need to create one user so that you can access all data which is present from that particular user and also we are going to use mongodb at compass to like uh, see what we have created in the database and uh, what are the tables which we have in the database to see it's a kind of overview okay so to download mongodb compass you can click on mongodb com compass and it will download a zip file hai na and after that you can uh, run that particular file <coughs> okay so it's quite easy you can download all this stuff so let's move to the main part after that you need to uh, add the url which you get over here like you can go in the connect section and you can set up what uh, environment you want to choose and we are going to use mongodb compass and after that it will uh, give you a kind of a url where you can you you can just copy it and just paste it over here and it will connect you can click on connect new connection and uh, let's just you need to enter the username and password so yeah let's this is it for the video installation kind of thing and let's go to the part and also i have set 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 it up uh, basic django application it's it's totally a basic application you have done not done anything yet 
so let's uh, install the library which will connect mongodb and our django application so yeah now we are going to install a library called django which will help to connect uh, like mongodb to your uh, mongodb cluster to your django application so we can do like uh, pep install django and i have already done so pep install django okay and also you need to install one more library called uh, dns python pep install dns python okay so once you install all these you need to update go into your settings.py and update something so like let's uh, remove this kind of code we are not going to connect with the mysql no sorry sql right so we need to paste this one okay so this is a setting and uh, our engine is gonna be we are going to use django and our database name is django we can create database name from here if you want it's like database we have admin django local if you want to create some other database you can create and add your database name over here okay so after that you can you are gonna like um, add your client date information like this is a host information and the username and the password okay so yeah before running python manager.py make migrate or migration we need to install one more library that's called uh, uh, pymongo and the version should be same 3.12.3 and let's install this we have already installed and now we are gonna run python manager.py make migrate migrate python python manage dot py migrate okay now when we run this it's gonna take some time because it's gonna connect to mongodb atlas and it's you can see like uh, it's performing all the migrations okay so now you can see we have our tables ready and when you go to django okay so you need to reconnect and uh, now let's go to databases django and you can see all the like tables which django automatically creates when you hit python manage.py make migrate uh, sorry python manage.py migrate for the fir very first time uh, you can see all the tables are being created uh, let's create our admin user so that we can check our connection is established python manage.py create super user okay python manage.py create super user and uh, we can add admin email we can blank one two three one two and three so the super user is created and let's go to auth user table so you can see uh like our user is successfully created the username is admin and the password is encrypted and last login and all the information that is pretty much clear it's working so <coughs> this is it for the video in the next video we are going to perform all the CRUD operations and we're going to create the models and we're going to migrate and we are going to see all the you can say uh, CRUD operation which we can perform on the mongodb engine and that's gonna learn you go you, you're gonna like learn a lot of things so this is it for the video i hope you people have enjoyed and uh, if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section and uh, please hit the like and meet you in the next video goodbye thank you